FNA, dude. Serious. Come here, help call the fing ambulance. What's going on, guys? Ricky Glazer here. Now, today we're going to talk about my worst ever injury. It set me out of skating for probably about one year total. We're gonna talk about every aspect of it. We're gonna talk about pre, during, and post, and I'm gonna let you know what I was feeling and how it changed me. So to start out, I'm basically living the absolute dream life. 17, no commitments, no job, no girlfriend, no worries, no problems. All I do is go out, hang out with my friends, go skateboarding, have as much fun as possible. Try to do as many cool tricks as I can, film as many cool tricks, and just literally just living the best life. All that I'm focused on is skateboarding right now, like I don't have anything else going. I'm getting towards the end of high school, but like I'm not really focusing on school, I just love skating so much. You know, everything was going great, it was going fantastic. Up until this one day. Oh, I broke my knee dude! Serious, come here, help call the ambulance. I'm not joking, you call the ambulance. Oh, really? Really? Yes, oh. really. My friend actually filmed a lot of what was going on on the day, so I'll let me from the past explain it. Well, I was skating this massive hammer mad dog spot, and then I just like fell and my knee exploded, and then I was like, oh, I broke my knee, and you're like, no, you didn't, you liar. And then now the ambulance is like jumping over the fence and stuff. How's it yeah. going? How are you? You want to I'm, I'm Ricky. I'm Ricky, Graham, and Christina. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. What have you done? Well, I was Skateboard. skating this ledge. Yeah? So we got on film, and I sort of like <laughs> was doing nose one. Like, <laughs> I just sort of slipped out, and just like my legs were like, whoop, and then I just went like, and then just go. So you didn't fall on it? You said, no, like all, all his weight. Yeah. Yeah, all my weight was on it, and it's so. On you the can one feel leg, the swelling here. Do you want me to take my jeans off? <laughs> Cut them off. <laughs> Oh, Does I broke my knee. Like I think you have. What? what what's happened? So, how's the pain? Oh, I, I don't really care about pain. Like, you know, oh, I, I don't I'll, know. I'll take that's some good. of that shit on. You had that before then, have you? Oh, uh, no. Nah. I broke my arm something? and my ankle before though, but I've never. This is the first time with an ambulance. Um, I reckon I can roll under that foot accidentally. I reckon I can get under the fence. Nah, I don't want you to walk onto it. But I don't have an ambulance car. Don't you? No. Breathe on that, my baby's strong. How's it taste? You're gonna feel bad. Good. It's like a line. Can I go again? Okay. Ready? Are you ready? All right, cheers. It just tastes like the mint, and then eventually it'll just feel any pain. Yeah, it's just good, right? So, honestly, this is a little bit hard for me to watch. Not because it hurt me and it was a traumatic event. But because I look at my attitude right now and like I'm really just not taking it seriously, you know, like I'm just joking around and just like having fun with it. And to me at the time, I was kind of like, oh, a new experience, cool, ambulance, awesome. But you gotta understand at the time, you know, no one in my life had ever passed away, nothing bad had ever really happened. Like, I don't know any skaters that got a, an injury that resulted in they can never skate again. To me, skating was like, yeah, you go skating, you push yourself, you get hurt, you heal up, then everything's back to normal. I never even really considered the possibility that you could get like seriously hurt and not be able to skate anymore. Am I allowed to have a drink though? Cause like I was no, skating and I got so thirsty though. Not even water. Nah. What? <laughs> what was it? You might need an operation. Oh. Maybe. Cause I'm like so th um thirsty. Cause I was just trying the trick and stuff. Really? Yeah. Be a knee Rico. Nah. What operation would it be? Damn it. Oh. Actually, that's true. You might have <laughs> your name. Nah. You can actually see in my face, the vibe changed a little bit. I kind of realized, I was like, damn, like, this actually is kind of serious. You're gonna get surgery, like, this is real, like, this is happening. So the fire brigade ended up showing up because we couldn't get out. We jumped over a fence to get into the school and then we couldn't get back out. So the fire brigade had to come and open one of the gates for us. And then, you know, they took me off to hospital. I kind of got settled a bit, called my parents. My parents came and meet me. So I stick around at the hospital for a while and then later that night I end up having the surgery. So what actually went wrong was the way that I fell, my thigh muscle tensed really hard and pulled on all the ligaments and then that resulted in breaking up the top of my tibia. In hindsight it's actually a pretty good result, like I didn't damage any of the ligaments and it was purely just the bone. So it was actually quite easy for them to just go in and just screw it back down. Waking up from the surgery was kind of crazy. They just put you on the table and then they say count down from 10 and you go 10. Nine, 
eight, seven, six, and then you're awake and the surgery's done. The general anesthetic really kind of messed with my body a bit. It, it took a bit of a toll on me. All my muscles felt really weird. The next day after waking up, like I couldn't go to the bathroom and I had to end up getting a nurse to give me a catheter tube. So it's like, damn, it's not what you want. So things were getting pretty real in the hospital. I think a few days had passed and my parents are just coming to visit me and I'm just staying there. And then my dad took this video. So Ricky, what's wrong? I fell over and grazed my knee. Yeah, doing what? Running? So how long have you been taking up running? Rollerblading. You grazed your knee? Yeah. Oh. And, um, just look at it. Oh my yeah. god. I think I was in the hospital for about four or five days. I can't remember exactly. This might be an inclusion in the uh, the movie of the year. Skate to death. He filmed it. Did he? Yeah. Oh, he filmed it, so I don't have to do this for the movie. He's not gonna put in like stuff like this in it. We don't put in where injured skaters go. No. Why not? Getting out of the hospital was all right. I mean, you know, I broke my wrist and ankle before, and those casts, you know, they impede you, but not too badly. But when it's your whole knee, like you really just like can't move your leg at all. Like I straight up just didn't really do anything. I was just like on the computer, just like laying in my bed the whole time. So then two weeks went by and then the first day of school term started. And then, you know, I went to school in a wheelchair, which was kind of crazy. And like, I just rock up from the holidays, like, oh, how's your holidays? And I'm just in a wheelchair. I remember at our school, we actually did have this disabled person in a wheelchair. And then I just rock up on the first day and then he sees me and then I'm in a wheelchair as well. I'm just like, yo, what's up? So then I did two weeks in the wheelchair at school and like it affected so many things that you don't really think about that I didn't really think about before. It's like, you know, I used to walk to school. So now I had to hire my friend to drive me home. I was doing my final year of woodworking class. And I was actually going to build this awesome skatable bench. And then I had to change my project because like I couldn't move the materials anymore. So then those two weeks went by. So now it's been one month since injury. And then I got upgraded to crutches, which was a big relief. Like I was not vibing being in the wheelchair, but being on crutches was not as bad. I had a little bit more freedom once again, but Hey, like this time in high school, like so much is going on. Like it's my final year. You know, I end up going to the, like the high school prom equivalent thing on my crutches. You know, everyone's turning 18, having all these parties, like I'm trying to go to these parties and stuff. Yeah, like, you know, it was kind of rough. So I end up being on the crutches for eight weeks and then finally, 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 they let me fully weight bear. And this is three months now from the initial injury. So three months of no walking, no nothing. And like, you know, that was a long time. That was like really a long time. And like, I, I felt it, you know, I felt it in my soul. So then when I could fully start weight bearing, I started physiotherapy. You know, that was cool. I was enjoying it. You know, I was, I was pretty keen on getting my body back to normal, but I must admit, like, I wasn't really just thinking like, I can't wait to skate again. I can't wait to try hard tricks again. I can't wait to skate. It's like my kind of attitude had changed a bit. I feel like skating, it really kind of, I don't know, like hurt me like emotionally, like spiritually, I guess. And like, I wasn't in a hurry to rush back. And then all these other things going on in my life, finishing school, I'm, I'm thinking like, oh, I gotta go to university. I gotta get a job. Like, you know, maybe skateboarding is just one part of my life instead of being my whole life and my everything about my identity and like maybe it's time for skating to be like a little bit more in the background of course i miss skating and i wanted to go skating but my attitude was definitely different compared to the other injuries where i'm just counting the days before i could get back to trying tricks so then i ended up finishing school finished all my exams finished everything i found this video of me doing my first trick back skating and it is almost exactly six months since the initial injury. And do the little nolly heel. I don't know why I didn't do a kickflip, but I was just behind a nolly heel. And like six months, that was so long. Like I never thought you could be out for that long, you know? And it wasn't like I just did the trick. I'm like, boom, we're back. We're shredding. We're back into it. It was, it was really slow. Like from that point, I started like hanging out with my friends and going actually skating. But then really, it wasn't like, what tricks can I film that will be the best? It was like, we're going skating, we're gonna have fun, I'm just gonna skate around. Rather than like, I need to get better, I need to get better, I need to get better. And that was like the biggest thing for me, is like I really, really shifted my priorities, I guess. It was more just like, let's have fun skating rather than like, I need to get better. And then, you know, slowly and slowly, when something happens and it sets you back and you're not as good as you used to be, 
it really hurts. And then you don't want to be trying to do something that you could have done easily before. It took a while and then I eventually got back to where I was. I filmed this sort of clip, I called it my like comeback clip. And then this, in this one, I sort of did a few tricks that I couldn't have done before. And then I was like, I was, I was kind of thinking like, yeah, like maybe I can be back, you know, like maybe I'm back. And when we posted that video, it was ex almost exactly one year, about 13 months since the original injury. So I was skating leading up to that time, filming a few months before, but I would say it was about a total, a full year before I was pretty much where I left off the day of the injury, which is so crazy to think. That's why when I watch the footage of me just joking around, it's like, damn dude, you're gonna lose a whole year right now. Like you gotta take it a bit more serious. This whole experience, it really sort of, it humbled me a lot. You know, I was kind of just this stupid, arrogant kid and like this really sort of changed my attitude and gave me a lot more perspective. It made me a lot more appreciative for everything that I do have. It made me a little bit more cautious too. You know, you don't want to be too cautious, but you got to have a bit of caution in your life. I don't regret it. I, I think it was good that happened. It was what sort of what I needed. After this injury, I was kind of lucky that I didn't have any other major injuries for a really, really long time. What I see happen to some of my friends is they'll go through something like this, you know, an injury that lasts six months to a year and then they'll come back skating for a few months and then it happens again. And then after that, they're just like, nah, like I can't, I can't deal with this. Like this is too much, like I have to quit. And honestly, that's super fair enough. If I did this injury exactly again after a few months, like, ah, oh, I don't know. It makes me kind of sad thinking about it, but that would have been so tough. So I was lucky that that didn't happen. And you know, we're stronger for it. I don't regret it. I still do have the pins in my knee right now. What, 11 years later? My knee is not 100%, I would say, but it's good enough, you know. I hope this gave you some insight and just if you're going through an injury, you know, just know that things take time. Like don't try to rush it. Don't try to skate too early. You know, focus your skate energy onto other things in your life and it will make you a better skater, it will make you a better person. Like that's all you can really do and just move forward with things, you know. But hey, it is tough. Like I feel the pain, like truly I feel the pain and I hope maybe this video helped you out. But anyway guys, that is it from me. Leave it in the comments. What is your worst injury? What helped you through it and how to get past it? And yeah guys, a like and a subscribe does always help me out. But anyway, that's gonna be it from me and I will see you next time. Peace out.